One of my charges is developing a program for prostate cancer called the RDP, or the Rapid Diagnostic Pathway. We felt that patients suffered from the anxiety of an elevated PSA and didn't know where to turn. When you're working within a healthcare system, you have to be able to navigate these channels, and RDP streamlines that channel right to the department and streamlines our communication with both the team that's going to take care of the patient and connects the patient to that team. Initially it take about 105 days to get in to see a urologist, have the test done and then get a result. Currently we have same day next day service for patients with an elevated PSA and the time to a biopsy has been decreased to 33 days from the initial contact with the department. That's a significant increase in throughput, so it decreases the wait times for patients, which was one of our major challenges. And it makes the anxiety for the patient so much less, because they have a plan, it gets executed, and I also get feedback as the patient's moving through the urology department. Referrals to the RDP are really easy. In all scripts, there's an order under the follow-up. You just type in elevated PSA. If you've ordered a PSA and it's greater than three, which is what the NCCN and the American College of Surgeons recommend to be evaluated for prostate cancer, you get an email. And all you have to do is reply to that email. It goes back to our RDP team. Not a lot of effort there. So it makes it very easy because some of the challenges as physicians, we're limited in the amount of time we have with our patients and what we have after the visit, what we need to do to make sure their care is correct and as efficient as possible. And hopefully RDP solves that for our clinicians. The longer you wait to get that appointment, the more loss to follow up happens. And that's where the stress for everybody occurs, including the doctor who thought it was taken care of and it wasn't taken care of. That's a huge stress for us. We not like to know things are taken care of and loops are being closed. And if your primary care doctor or internist is the one that drew your PSA and it's elevated, there's a certain level of anxiety because you haven't been able to see the specialist yet and we felt that the RDP would be able to solve this with same day, next day services, talk to our specialists to hopefully decrease the anxiety, explain what PSA is, and order necessary tests that are needed to expedite the diagnostic pathway so you can get in, get your test, and get seen quickly. We want expeditious care for these patients and we're getting it with RDP. One of the original problems was people got infections from biopsies, and that could happen in two to seven percent of patients and that's because they were done transrectally through the bottom. And at Northwell Health, we no longer allow that biopsy to be done. We do transperineal only, which is through the skin, and that infection rate is 0.5% or lower. So you take a diagnostic test, and now we make it safer. The next challenge was the diagnostic test itself had limitations, an ultrasound-guided biopsy. Ultrasound's great for urologists and doctors. It's cheap, it's in the office, it's real time. We can do it right there on the spot. But the information about what your risks are for having prostate cancer are not there. So that's why we use a multi-parametric MRI or a prostate MRI. And then it, the next step is if you had the MRI, we see something, now we can sample that using MRR fusion technology. So again, we can take that information from the MRI, which is highly sensitive and specific for finding cancer, and use that with the ultrasound in our doctor's office so you can get in and have it done. So that's what's really exciting. I love the RDP because the program really helps streamline our office efficiency. It decreases anxiety and provides good clinical care, great clinical care for the patients. The RDP program was designed for communication and accountability. We have experts reading your MRI from the radiology department, and then from, with that information, we decide if biopsy is even needed. And then we have experts with respect to surgery, focal therapy for prostate cancer, radiation medicine, and in some cases, we have medical oncology if patients have advanced disease. 